There are no manuals about cheese sculpture. I'm actually a fine artist by trade. I did a fine art degree, but I got bored of what I was supposed to be doing. I was supposed to do sort of proper art, but I loved food, so I became a food artist. That was 15 years ago. You get nativities made out of gingerbread and chocolate, and to actually do something, a savoury option for the nativity, was really lovely to do, and I was quite pleased to have a go at doing it. But like I said, there's no manuals, I can't look up, you know, to do Joseph's face, you need this part, this part, and you'll get it. I just had to really give it a go. Um, so basically starting off with the big blocks of cheese and using clay sculpting tools to literally loop tools um, to cut away, carve away, using a sharp knife. Um, and then with the bits that have been cut off, I've actually put those into a food processor to grate it and then mush it up. So it's a bit like working with clay. And luckily, and I don't know why, the cheese will actually then stick back onto the block. So I can then blend it and smooth it and then use my famous cocktail stick to actually do all the detail. Then I pop them in the fridge, they firm up. I can then take them out again, add some more details and then they really come alive. Um, when I'm sculpting with cheese, the hardest part really is the faces. And this cheese nativity, the detail on the face is, is, is tiny. It's really, really small. So instead of using my normal sculpting tools, I've basically relied on a cocktail stick. <laughs> so really, really technical. Um, I've even had to use a little magnifier as well to enhance some of the detail. Um, but it's been, it's been pretty tricky, but it's been a good, fun experience as well.